Alrighty guys, welcome back. We are gonna be going after John Basson. It's actually one of my favorite Claw Gang members and honestly it's also another favorite just map in general. He who tames an iron horse. Following the trail of spice shipments, we made our way up to Nunavut Bay, Canada, the secret hub of Jean Besson's shipping empire. As a young man, he trekked across Canada to strike it rich during the gold rush of 1852. An avid prospector, he took some chances and ended up buried alive in an avalanche. Miraculously, the quick freeze kept him alive, and 120 years later, thanks to global warming, he thawed out. A product of his time, he dreams of taming the wild north, damming every river and chopping down all the trees with progress delivered at the sharp end of an axe. Shipping spice for the Claw Gang proved a lucrative way to bankroll his one-man war against nature, and yet, I have to feel a little sorry for him. He's just a normal guy from the 1850s. Back in his day, he'd be a hero, but today, he's a villain. Either way, that man's got more than his fair share of the clockwork parts. What a low-tech guy like Jean Bassan is doing with robot parts is a mystery. I almost don't want to know. But as always, it's only a matter of time before I find out. Alrighty guys, I am excited. This is one of my favorite episodes. Oh my gosh, I'm a little nervous to check. Yeesh, this stuff is expensive. Now, remember we did have a few things. I believe it was Adrenaline Burst and Atlas Strength from Tangled Web. So, yeah, as of now, the three things that we need to buy in this episode is Hover Pack. Berserk Charge, and Silent Obliteration, which is, they're all pretty expensive. What is that, 3,900, 3, almost 4,000? I've got a lead on the clockwork parts, and through town, and out into the wilderness. Let's get this bottom. I always love to see where the van is parked in each episode. Ooh, let's. I was gonna stick to the rooftops, but I can go on the ground. Why not? Careful, those the unleash guards. I love that they're Canadian coins. I've never been to Canada, by the way, and I would love to go to Canada. I'm curious if y'all have ever been. That cabin may seem rustic, but don't be fooled. It's the control center for Jean Bizon's trade empire. Sneak inside and raid his files. You're sure to find out where he keeps his clockwork parts. Ransacking his files doesn't sound hard. Now, climbing up a sheer rock wall, that'll be a challenge. You're in luck. Before Jean Bassan took over, this used to be a popular destination for rock climbers. Some of their old wall hooks are still around. I'm guessing I just jump and hit the circle button to latch on. That's right. And remember to lean back before you spring off the hook. You'll get more altitude. Thanks for the tip. I'll give it a try. Nice. Kind of struggled with this one, but yeah, you jump, hit the circle button, and then you lean back. So you don't have to like hold all those buttons at the same time. Jackpot slide. That's Sean Bisson. 
Looks like he didn't notice me come in. Just stay out of sight, and take a picture of each of his train routes. They should narrow our search for his share of the clockwork parts. All right, I'm on it. Cadet, arpeggio again. Salutations, Mr. Arpeggio. Y'all got time to shoot the breeze? Of course, for you jump always. Although, must we communicate through that triple speakerphone? Yeah, I can think better while my legs move. Pumps blood to your brain. Yes, of course. One must keep blood in one's brain. But do tell, is there some pressing matter you'd like to discuss? First off, are you still a coming on schedule to get that Northern Lights battery? Yes, we're well underway. My blimp should arrive at the end of the week. Bullseye. For a second, when are you gonna give me a look-see at that clockwork brain of yours? I'd sure like to buy it off you. Be song, you covetous troglodyte. You've already got the lion's share of the parts. Would you take my meager portion of the robotic bird for your own and strip me of all my earthly pleasures? Easy there, partner. You're all up in a lather. It's just that I found some real use for the clockwork parts I got. Sly, did you hear that? Besides hidden the Iron Horse blueprints in his trophy bats. Head for the fish on top of the fireplace and steal those plants. Sounds like you're making capital use of your share of the robotic loot. But for now, the clockwork brain stays with me on the blimp. Although, when I arrive to pick up the Northern Knight's battery, I might be persuaded to give you a peek. That'll do fine. By the way, you ready to giddy up into Perry for the final hoedown? Yes! The blimp's hypnotist wavelengths conform to the specs drawn up by the Contessa, and Dimitri, before his unfashionable capture, did a bang-up job of distributing spice through his nightclub. Sounds like all you're missing is some northern light electricity. You're correct, sir. Yours is the final piece to the puzzle, the missing link. Once the battery is aboard, nothing will stand in the claw gang's way. Harris will be ours. Yeah, yeah, okay. So. I guess I'll be seeing you at the end of the week. Right. Farewell, be song. Stiff up a lip. Ta-ta. Sorry, I know that was kind of long, but I was just very interested. Now get out of that cabin before you're spotted. It's kind of interesting. decorating techniques, I think we'll find the other trophy bass above the mantle in the two remaining cabins. Um, I prefer, I prefer that other, um, going to that other cabin last. So we're going to go ahead and knock this one out first. So this is a pretty spread out map. There's actually room for a lot of Yikes. There's room for a lot like where you'll find a lot of bottles. So it may take a bit longer to get all these. And then also just yep, considering the price. Not. Get to the fish above the mantle and steal those blueprints. Attention all cabin guards. I've heard tell from the boys in Ponderosa cabin there's someone been in my hidden blueprints. Everyone stay sharp. This ain't no summer camp. Two down, one to go. Perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. I was hoping some guard might have something in his pockets besides coins. And then it's rubies. So rubies are actually one of the most expensive things we can get in this slide game. We'll go ahead and grab this bottle. It's kind of way off here to the side. The more I think about it, this might be the more difficult bottles throughout the throughout the maps, but mm, let me know what y'all think. Like I said, that this map is so huge, so 
You can literally put bottles in a lot of places. Creative places, I might add, as well. It does require a bit more jumping and... Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ah! No, I'm scared. I'm scared. No. 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 Please. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Uh... Go get you. Go get him. Oh, we finally used the rage bomb. I'm kind of curious where he's gonna go. That was intense. Where's he going? I'm sorry. This is something I have to see through. What? After all that? Whatever. Okay. That was too much. I, I just need to get into this cabin. The last trophy bass is above the fireplace. Ooh. Be careful. This is going to be a bit more difficult. Okay. Oh, thank God. Whoa. That's the last of the blueprints. Oh, hey, and the the chest is there. I never noticed these hooks. This is cool. To be honest, I probably just always got her in a fight going into that cabin. We should be able to isolate and track the iron horse trains through that satellite dish. Top of the mountain, huh? Shouldn't take long. Oh, sorry, guys. Texting my fiance. We're trying to figure out what we're going to do for lunch. Yeah, I always remember just probably getting in a fight in there, so that's probably why I never noticed those hooks. Oh no, there's a train coming. Oh, and there's a bottle. <gasps> oh my god. I'm sorry I had to see that. I never wanted to see Sly die. Okay, we're gonna hurry now. You know what? No, we're not. We're gonna be safe. I wonder if there's like a bottle underneath. I swear. Okay, there is. There is a bottle. I thought I was going crazy. To be honest, this, the the song, the song in the background of this episode, it does make it a bit hard to find bottles. I will say that. Perfect. Oh, you know what? Let's actually go back down because he has something of value. Man, mooses are actually really huge. I never noticed, but mooses are like. Here's to be the only way up. Keep an eye out for those rock climber wall hooks. They might be useful. Like, mooses, they're like the size of... They're like dinosaur deer. This is great! We've got total access to the 
access to the train's GPS system. It's all on my computer. Head back to the safe house. I'll crunch some numbers and give you and Murray the rundown. All right. Thanks to Sly's efforts, we now know the location of all three of the local clockwork parts. Two lugs and a stomach. John Besson has grafted each piece to the engine in one of his iron horse trains. This improvement allows the trains to run all night and all day. We won't have the luxury of sneaking in while they're stopped. While they're in motion, the only way aboard is through a hatch on the caboose roof, which unfortunately has been locked down. These need to go. First, collect the spice gas from the balloons above town, and then land on the back of the caboose to blow off the locks. Once the way is cleared, I'll suit up and jump into Iron Horse number one while it passes near town. With some luck, we'll have the first clockwork lug in a few hours. Man, that is awesome, Bentley. He's very quick on the plans. Alrighty, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and stop it right here. If you haven't seen the previous videos, I will leave a playlist, as always, somewhere for y'all. So it's easily clickable. And yes, I will see y'all in the next video. I hope y'all, as always, have a great day and peace.